Uh, what did uh, Trump call it this morning? Uh, I think he called it the final throws of the trade deal. We we're in the final throws. I don't know if you'd ex- uh, characterize uh, such a great deal with those words, but clearly you're throwing Chinese stocks out the window. You could see with industrial profits in China now down almost 10% year over year, which is a certified train wreck. That's a new low for Chinese profits. And again, China remains in quad three. I have not done this yet. So this is new. So you should hear this. Hear it quite clearly. I'm going to start to buy some volatility. Obviously, buying puts is another way to be expressing your volatility bets. So anywhere between 10 and 11, uh, or even moderately above 11, I'm going to start buying. You know, there are different ways that you can buy volatility. You can get paid in a hurry on buying volatility if the VIX just goes literally to, to 14. Oil continues to look great. You know, whether you're looking at it in terms of rate of change, or you're looking at it in terms of higher lows, or you're looking at it within the, uh, the context of the third quadrant, which is our lens. That's why we start buying oil and energy related securities, energy stocks, big cap liquid energy stocks, the ETF XLE. Oil volatility looks nothing like the volatility in the equity market that I want to be betting on. In fact, uh, it looks the opposite. So oil volatility at 31 on the OVX today continues to break bad, and that's good for the oil price. And that's how we look at price. We look at it through the lens of the volatility of volatility.